The election has been called, official campaigning is underway, and the Globe and Mail poll tracker is showing that if people went to the polls today, the Conservatives would have the best bet of winning the most seats. Well, John Ibbotson is joining us from Ottawa, and John, you've just written a brand new biography on Stephen Harper. We just ran a, a fascinating excerpt, so you are the man to ask, <laughs> what does Stephen Harper have going in his favor right now? Uh, in a word, incumbency. Uh, every government um, has a huge advantage going into an election campaign. Uh, it has control over the budget. It knows the financials. Uh, it can shape the dynamic of the campaign, at least at the beginning, to its own ends. We saw that uh, today when Stephen Harper announced a new home renovation tax credit, $1.5 billion a year. He can do that because he knows uh, when the budget will permit that kind of tax credit. Basically, in the opening stages of any election campaign, the governing party has all the levers at its disposal that it can use, uh, as I said, to shape things um, their way. That goes away uh, over time, and it will in this case, too. Well, speaking of time, it's being said that a long campaign period is an advantage to Harper's Conservatives. How so? Well, the theory goes that um, because he's been in so many campaigns in the past, this is his fifth as a national leader, um, that it elongates the amount of time for the other guys to make mistakes. I'm not sure I agree with that, actually. If you look back at the previous campaigns of 04 and 06 and 08, Stephen Harper actually damaged his campaigns in the final week. He made big mistakes and cost him the 2004 election, probably, and reduced him to minority in 2006 and 2008. So, yes, Justin Trudeau and Thomas Mulcair lack experience as national leaders. They're going to be more prone to make mistakes. They may not do as well in the debates. Um, and that should advantage the Conservatives. The, the long campaign will help the government because it has a governing party, because it has way more money to spend on advertising and campaigning than the other parties do. But I think one factor that has to be borne in mind is Stephen Harper's penchant for exhaustion. Um, the, you know, the, as, uh, he's an introvert. He, he likes to stay at home. He hates travel. He hates crowds. Campaigns are hard on him. I guess he's gambling that he's done it long enough now and often enough um, that he's got it under control, that he's on top of it. But President says it's still a risk for him. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, John. My pleasure.